previously on WWE 2K22, My Rise. Smooth J cashed in his money in the bank beforehand, taking on Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. A rare move for someone with as low character as Smooth J to challenge beforehand and not jump a beat up champion, but that was his choice. And what a Universal Championship match that we had, folks. It was truly an amazing match. Roman Reigns was totally in control to start the match, as you would imagine. Smooth J was entirely overmatched. Roman was just beating him from pillar to post, and Smooth J had absolutely no response for the big dog early on in this one. Smooth J got caught being dumb trying to taunt, and to the surprise of me, the fans were not seeming to want Smooth J to lose this one. They even cheered him when he finally broke out of Roman Reigns' finisher. But I think that has a lot more to do with how the fans feel about Roman Reigns. And just like in the past, Smooth Jay's getting dominated, and then he hits that low blow, followed by a big headbutt. And remember, he's not wearing that mask to make that headbutt more effective. It's because he's too handsome to be seen by the WWE fans. Likely story. But Smooth Jay had Roman Reigns in huge trouble, and just as he went for the pin... Is that Kevin Owens music? We haven't seen him in months! He's got his money in the bank briefcase from last year's event. Oh, is Nails the current briefcase holder? What's this briefcase? What the heck is happening? I think he's cashing in. We're gonna have a triple threat match. But two money in the bank briefcases? How is this legal? Stunner! He didn't steal anything. He just outsmarted everyone in the arena. Well, it certainly looks like Roman Reigns feels like his championship was stolen. Yeah, and the challenger probably feels the same way. He had hit his finisher on Reigns and was moments away. From you want to explain what the hell you're going to do about all this? Look, I get you're upset. But unfortunately, what KO did was technically legal. I thought you only had a year to cash in. I had the new briefcase. Clearly, it was over a year. I know, and normally that is true. But KO was injured for a while and was able to use that time to extend his cash-in window past the one-year mark. We're going to tie up that loophole for the future, but it's too late to change what KO did. So you're not going to do anything to fix this? My universal title shot is just gone. Not necessarily. To make this up to you, I'm putting you in a rematch against Roman Reigns. Whoever wins will face Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. Does that work? Sounds like I don't have a choice. So I guess it will have to. Wow. Smooth Jay's opportunity to cash in his money in the bank just went up in smoke. And Kevin Owens is apparently legitimately allowed to do what he just did. Can you believe it? So that leaves Smooth Jay having to take on Roman Reigns to be able to get back into the title picture. Roman Reigns was once again dominating the match. He even caught Smooth J up in his finisher once again. But Smooth J was able to fight out. Smooth J also ate a huge Superman punch while he was going for the headbutt. And it was so close, but Smooth J survived. Smooth J hit that headbutt after taking the beating that he always takes. Taunted a little bit. The crowd did not know how to feel about this. Some were cheering, some were booing. And then we went for the pinfall. And Smooth J got the victory over Roman Reigns. And that's where we're at right now. Let's take a look at social media. Looks like Smooth J's happy about beating Roman Reigns. And Kevin Owens is doing his typical trolling. And Roman Reigns is complaining that he never got pinned to lose his Universal title. We have some breaking news from SmackDown General Manager Adam Pearce. It's going to be Smooth J taking on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens taking on Paragon J. Pierce. Both men are going to face someone from each other's past. And here comes Smooth J. He's got a mix of cheers and boos. What are these people thinking? How can you cheer someone like this? And here comes his opponent, Sami Zayn. We all know about the intense history that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens has had. 
And now Smooth J is going to be trying to take out some of his frustrations on Kevin Owens by beating the crap out of Sami Zayn. Let's get to the match. Smooth J starts with that running knee to the midsection. He caught Sami Zayn sleeping there. And there he goes with that Saito again. That's become a favorite move of Smooth J's. He's been just decimating his opponents with it. And a DDT for good measure. Smooth J is in control at this point. But what's this? Where is he? Is Owen just playing mind games? And Sami Zayn looks to capitalize on the distraction. He goes for the Haluva kick and Smooth J gets out of the way. And a spine buster for Sami Zayn. Smooth J just narrowly escapes eating that finisher right there. European uppercut and a big elbow to Sami Zayn dropping him to the ground. Fast forward, we have Sami Zayn going for something big. Smooth J with the backflip. And a huge Saito to counter from Smooth J. Sami Zayn is reeling. Smooth J goes for the eye rake, drops to his knees, and hits a huge low blow on Sami Zayn. The tide is turning here, folks. Kevin Owens did his best with his distraction, but it looks like Smooth J is overcoming everything, and Sami Zayn eats one more Saito. I don't think he can take another one. Snap suplex by Smooth J. Fisherman suplex. Perfect execution by Smooth J. He is not giving Sami Zayn a second to breathe here. Big right hand chop. And Sami Zayn shows a little bit of fight, but Smooth J quickly turns it around. Wraps him into a German suplex and dumps him on his head once again. Smooth J is looking incredible in this match against Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn goes for the neck breaker and maybe he's making a comeback here. Smooth J ends that comeback quicker than it started with a big knee to the midsection. But Sami Zayn is still fighting with a nice snap suplex to get Smooth J off his feet. And Smooth J says, not so fast. Another Saito for you, Sami Zayn. And a big headbutt. That's got to be it, folks. What is Smooth J doing? Another headbutt. That had to be a message he was sending to Kevin Owens right there. Sami Zayn did nothing to deserve those two vicious headbutts. Smooth J taunts, and he's using the ropes. My God. Smooth J showing no respect to Sami Zayn, but he gets the victory. And for the second straight week on SmackDown, Smooth J is getting a mix of cheers and boos. I don't know what these people see in this man. He's nothing but a cheater. Let's go check out social media. Looks like Smooth J is not happy about the interruption from Kevin Owens in his match. And he says maybe it's time he pays Kevin Owens a visit. Whoa, from behind. The Universal title challenger is taking it to Kevin Owens. I know KO interrupted his match earlier, but this is ridiculous. Owens was out here to face Paragon, not get ambushed. This rivalry with Smooth J, Kevin Owens, and Roman Reigns is really heating up on social media. Kevin Owens is talking some trash to Smooth J ahead of their universal title clash that's coming up next. Let's see what Smooth J has to say in response. And in typical fashion, Smooth J goes below the belt mentioning Kevin Owens' kids. Let's take you to what is surely going to be a heated and intense universal title championship match.
It's Roman Reigns. Of course, we can't get through this match without controversy. It's par for the course with these three. Wade, the tribal chief, is in the ring.
What a world title match that we just witnessed. Smooth J won the universal title from Kevin Owens in typical controversial fashion. Using that damn headbutt one more time. And one more time again, he was getting some cheers from the fans. I guess when you're taking on heels like Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn, you get a few sympathy cheers here and there. But Smooth J is the champion, and we're going to have to see what comes next with this triangle. Thank you so much for watching, and please like and subscribe to Big Dogs Gaming. We'll see you next time.